got today? Today we got the M4 screwdriver from Milwaukee. What is the M4 screwdriver? Well, <clears throat> Eric, let me explain to you what the M4 screwdriver is. Thank you. It's a pocket screwdriver. We, you just saw we just did the DeWalt gyro. Yep. This is, I, we can't, I don't know if we can really compare this. We can compare this because it's kind of the same, uh, you know, size and stuff, but it's a complete different voltage system. That's an 8 volt, this is a 4 volt. So you're going to have less voltage on here, um, but, you know, it's still going to be able to get in and take care of all the situations that you need being an electrician on your belt, whip, you can do, you know, um, what are these things called? Plates. Plates, ceiling fans, whatever. Has a clutch system. Has kind of a cool clutch system on it. I don't know if I can get it to work for you guys here, but when you're going forward, if you hear that click, mm -hmm. it, it doesn't go, it just clicks. Mm -hmm. When you're going backwards, it makes that noise out. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Why? Well, forward, it just clicks. I don't know, but I oh. just feel like it's more precise with that just that one click. Okay. I don't know. I was screwing in a plate the other day and someone was watching me and I was like, man, that was pro. I'm like, yeah, it was, because you can just Set it to your depth. Click. Done. You know what's in. Very cool. Two speeds. Uh, zero to 200 and 600 RPMs, I think. What is it? I don't know. What's yours? You were uh, looking it up, playing with it. I don't know. We'll put all that stuff in the reviewer at the bottom. Uh, straight shaft design. Eric loves the straight shaft design. That's what he's all about. Know, man. That's about Eric. Yeah. <laughs> and then you could just uh, have some, just one detent so you can turn it into a pistol style like grip. Uh, the and it's got a lock to lock it in place so it doesn't move on you when you're trying to use it. Correct, because if it's in a bag or something you don't want it going off, that could actually cause a fire. Eric doesn't believe me. You don't think it could cause a fire, could it? Um, I'm this sure is, it can. If you threw this in your tool bag. Right, exactly. Yeah, so, I mean, it can cause that, but, you know, that's the worst case scenario, but best case scenario, you're going to lose your battery. But, yeah. luckily, it comes with two 4 volt batteries, charging about an hour with the included charger. Does it come with a case or a bag or anything? You know what, Eric? I don't think so. Well, when you open the package... You I don't remember like that far back. Okay. But, uh, one-handed chuck operation. It's got a nice chuck on it. The only thing I don't like is there's no LED. So when you are in tight situations... That, I mean, a tool like this kind of really needs an LED. Because mm -hmm. that's where, you know, you're in dark, tight situations. Um, 20 clutch settings. Two-speed. Fuel status gauge right on the side there. I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. What are you thinking, Eric? Is it only a tool in their line? Four volt line? Uh, yes. Well, yeah, you should I mean, know. Well, that's what I'm asking you. Mr. Milwaukee, I feel like I'm going to deal with the four volts right now. You do. Oh, really? The wow. four volts? Yeah, you can have the whole volt. The four, the volt, four line. volt. Yeah. <laughs> I don't deal with the four volt. Uh, no, I mean, I, I think it's good for, like you said, electricians, people in RC cars, people with fine precision, you know, who need that, you know. Yeah, I mean, there is precision. a market for this. A lot of people are watching this right now saying, oh my gosh, why would I use that? I could use my, you know, 20 volt impact or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Well, a lot of overhead applications. I mean, this is just great to have. You know, you're running in and out of job sites. You're doing your checklist item. Or what's that thing you keep calling it? Punch list. Punch list. Eric likes to say the punch list. But you're doing punch list items. And, you know, that thing's just easy to whip out. Boom, it's going to get the job done. Especially when you have those long screws, you know. Like, especially ceiling. I don't know why I keep going back to ceiling fans. I don't know either. It's just you Because it's the only long... thing you've ever installed. <laughs> Touche, Eric. Touche. Yeah. But that wasn't that Thank funny. you, man. I thought that was good. Yeah, whatever. I thought that was good. So, uh, yeah. let's go ahead and watch you run a screw through the countertop for these people. I'll watch you do it. I think we'll... Uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay, we'll get the camera. I want to oh, get close. Yes, sir. Is it even recording? No. Are you serious? No, it's on. Dude, how do you take this thing off, You're man? So this thing retarded. is such a piece of junk. Just pull it back, Eric. All right, ready? We're on speed one. We're doing a three-inch screw through uh, whatever that is. It's called plywood. Okay, this is speed one. Wow, it's pretty torquey. Yeah, are you going in there? Are you hitting that two by four already? No. Damn it. Damn it, Eric. We'll just run another one. Move it over to your left and hit the plywood and the That's what I'm going to do. Ow, oh, it's hot. Like right there, right? What happens when you don't have calluses on your hands? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ready? I mean, obviously this is not meant for this. We're just showing you. I think you're you. going on reverse, aren't you? No. No. Oh. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Okay. It's not meant for this. We're just showing you power.
Wow, that was... Oh, you know what? I had it clutched, even. That was the clutch kicking in. So Actually, that's pretty cool, man. That's pretty powerful. Look at that. It sunk it. So, not bad. Uh, and then, you know, obviously, with the clutch situation, if I just want to... Quick click. That's all you got. I don't know, man. Something about that click just makes it precise. It feels like a pro tool. It is a pro tool. It's from Milwaukee. Lifetime warranty? No. Five-year warranty, right? Yeah. All their tools. All right. So, uh, Eric loves this shaft design. You could, you don't even know how much Eric loves this shaft design. Right, Eric? Heck yeah, man. Eric wants to keep it. But, uh, <laughs> he's not. It's pretty cool. Toolsinaction.com. Don't forget to check out uh, Twitter and Facebook. Don't forget to check out the Ultimate Tool Bag Giveaway.